talk about some of the problems that seniors face, starting with one you can try to avoid if you just start planning ahead of time. And that, of course, is the cost of long term care. In fact, our question of the day today, are you planning ahead for your retirement? You can find this right on our website. And there are your choices. Yes, I am trying to plan for my future. No, I haven't thought about it. Uh, or no, I can't plan for the future because today's economy makes it so tough to do that. So the problem number one that we're going to explore today, planning ahead for high long t long term care costs. The solution, the three in four need more tour. And joining us now from Houston is a spokesperson for that group, Dr. Marion Summers, a Ph.D., author of a book called The Elder Care Made Easier and organizer, one of them, of the three and four need more bus tour. And it's good to talk to you. Thanks so much for being with us. And when you say three and four need more, Dr. Summers, you're talking about more cash, right? I'm talking about, no, three and four need more came out of a study that said three out of four people are going to need long-term care but are not prepared for it in any way, shape, or form. You have a couple of easy tips before we get into the tour and the talent search, which I love. This is a great idea. You guys are going all across the country. But some easy to remember tips for folks out there uh, who would like to maybe get a head start and jump on planning for their future uh, as seniors. Uh, and it's sort of SOS is an easy way to remember it. S, what's your situation? O, know what your options are. And S, research the possible solutions out there. So when you say know your situation, what's that about? Know your situation, by that I mean, what is, what is your family history? What is your personal issues dealing with health? And look at those things and start doing the things that are really healthy for you, like not smoking, not drinking, not doing the things that might be in excess. O is for options. Right. Know the cost of things. Know that... Uh, what the cost of a nursing home is, the average nursing home cost is $87,000 a year. Uh, assisted living is about $42,000 a year. And I ask people to go to the 3 in 4 Need More website, and that website has a calculator, and anyone can find out the price of an assisted living, a nursing facility, or what it costs to have an aide come into your home. And it goes by zip code. So somebody's already done the work. The three and four need more people have already done the work. So at least start out by knowing what the costs are in your immediate neighborhood. Or if you want to move grandma to you or from where she is, find out what the expenses are in her area. So these are the different solutions, and that's the final S in the SOS, uh, to find out exactly what options are available in terms of uh, in terms of long-term care, whether it's just having a nurse's aide come in and check, uh, you know, once a day or several times a week to something more permanent like living in an assisted living or independent living even uh, type of situation for senior citizens. Well, those are the options that are available, and most people don't even know what the options are are in their immediate neighborhood. But when I'm talking about solutions, I'm talking about reverse mortgages, long-term care insurance, annuities. Find out, deal with a uh, financial expert and deal with these issues now. At least do your homework, even if you don't go forward with any of these things. Know what is available to you. Most people don't understand long-term care insurance is not one size fits all. But what you do is you go to an advisor, a long-term care specialist, and find out what it is you think you need, what it is you can afford, and the specialist will work out something that will fit for your particular needs. People don't understand about a reverse mortgage, that you need to be 62, that you have to have equity in your home. And when that reverse mortgage is, is worked out, that money that you get out of your for the reverse mortgage, the equity, that's your own money. You don't get taxed as an income. So that money that you get out of the own equity is your money to use as you wish. So, and looking at annuities and all the other things that are out there, but you need to have financial planning and really plan ahead. And the time to act is right now. You know, the tough part, I guess, for most people, the, the hurdle is that we don't like to think about getting old. We don't want to, you know, if you're if you are in your late 30s, early 40s, early 50s, you don't really want to even explore that possibility because you want to just sort of live your life and enjoy it right now. Well, aging is not a very sexy subject, but it's very practical. We're all going to age. If we're fortunate, we live a long life. So we need to plan. We need to plan so that 
our children and our grandchildren are not taking care of us, but we can stay independent as long as possible and take care of our own needs. But that takes planning. A failure to plan is a plan to fail. I've said that all across the country. Uh, we have a, 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 someone in our chat room who has uh, posted uh, <laughs> that he's far more, this is from Eddie List, far more concerned about long-term health costs under Obamacare, the, the president's uh, health care law that has passed and recently been upheld by the Supreme Court, than he was before that bill was passed. What are your thoughts on the health care law and, and the effect that it will have uh, on seniors? Well, this is the only country that has not had a universal health care plan. So we really don't know at this particular juncture, at this moment, we don't know what the costs are going to be. That paper is very thick, and legislators really have to go through it line for line to figure out what the costs are to us individually and what the costs will be to business in general. Uh, I want to ask you about this uh, senior citizen talent contest. It sounds like uh, sort of an American Idol for the seniors set. Tell us about it. Well, it's very exciting. Emeritus uh, senior living communities are around the country. They have almost 500 facilities, and they're looking for the most talented senior. And the first prize is one, one year free rent at an emeritus of their choice. And as I said, they have 500 facilities, so you can take that first prize and be anywhere in the country. That's worth $45,000. Then there will be 11 runners-up, and they will each receive one week free at an emeritus of their choice. So this has been very exciting to watch these very talented seniors come to the, the surface and, and stand before an audience and be videoed, and the videos all get sent out to the emeritus headquarters. So you just go to freerentgiveaway.com, and anybody can enter the contest. It's not closed to just emeritus people. It's open to the public, and it's been very exciting to witness this. The website... I also want to talk... The web, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> uh, it's freerentgiveaway.com. Anybody can enter their two-minute video. They need to say their name, why they want to win, and then whatever their talent is, and just submit it to that website. Somebody's going to be chosen, and you can't win unless you enter. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, and I'd love to see some of the, uh, wet, the videos that people send in uh, to, in order to enter the contest. We can check that out. Dr. Marion Summers, a Ph.D., a spokesperson for 3 and 4 needmore.com and her book is called Elder Care Made Easier. Dr. Summers, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us about this very serious issue that we'll, that we'll all face, as you said, hopefully, uh, as we grow older. It's my pleasure. Thank you. We're going to take a